Hey, some Nigerians, welcome back. It rose here. Welcome back to the School of Mathematics, Nigeria. So the last class we discussed addition and subtraction of algebraic fractions. So in this class, we'll be discussing the multiplication and division. I want you to see the difference. Some people say I talk so fast. <laughs> I want you to see the difference between multiplication and division of fractions, okay? So when you're asked to multiply two fractions, you just go straight forward, right? It's the easiest. So 5 times 3 is 15. 4 times 7 is 28. But well, make sure you know your multiplication table. Imagine that this was not a multiplication sign, it was a division sign. You're asked to divide these two fractions. The first thing you have to do is write your first fraction but change the division sign to a multiplication sign and when that changes your numerator becomes your denominator and denominator becomes your numerator so you have seven over three do not ever forget to do this process change the division sign to a multiplication sign and then change the fraction in front of it or is it behind it so in this case you have five times seven to be 35 all over 4 times 3 is what and remember what we said about having this it's called what an improper fraction change it to a mixed fraction or a decimal if this is not in the objective question 2.9 or 2 o number 11 over 12 so you can have these two cases right so let's solve more examples so here you know that a times c is ac multiply your, your numerators and then multiply your denominator right but in the case of division then change the division sign the division sign reverse it right and then this gives us ad over bc okay that makes it different right i know in a case where we see so much letters and numbers we're panicking do not panic okay First things first, write the first fraction, right? Then change the division sign to a multiplication sign, then reverse this. Okay? Now, some people would like to do it this way, and then you would like to do it another way. So, I'm going to show you the two ways, and you pick from there. So, you have to search what can cancel what, okay? Notes. Only a numerator can cancel something the denominator. A numerator cannot cancel a numerator. Let me show you what I mean. A is up here and another A is down here. So 1A cancels 1A here. We're left with 1A. Don't forget that. Right? 3 can go here. 3 can go here twice. 3 and 3 is 1. 3 and 6 is 2. What else? nothing else so you multiply what you have left two times two b times one a here times b okay now don't be confused somebody else can solve it like this by the whole thing first before they divide so they are not confused so two a times six is twelve a 3b times a square b is 3a square b square. Always write your numbers first, followed by your letters. So b times b is b square. You have a square and then you have 3. Okay? Now in this case, you can now divide. After putting it to become one fraction. So you can have 3 in 12 is what? 4. a goes in this, so you are left with... 1a here and b square do you see the difference so you can decide to do it this way or this way whichever one works for you is always fine just make sure you're always on track doing the right thing you definitely all arrive at the same answer this is four okay so let's do one more example of course you know that you just come here and say 2a over 3b Change your division sign to a multiplication sign. Take this up and bring that one down. Then you continue. Now remember there are two ways. You can either start cancelling now or just multiply it together and cancel at once. Let's do this first. A can go in one A here. We're left with one. So can cancel two here, right? 
B can cancel B. However, just make sure you are doing the right thing. So we're left with what? Nothing is here. We're left with 4. And we're left with A all over. We have 3 here. We have 1 A here and B. So you see, we didn't cancel 1 A, which is this one. So you are left with 4, 3 B. Do you see that? Now for those who want to multiply at once, you know that you had 2A over 3B, 4 over A square B, AB over 2. Some people will tell you, oh, I would multiply at once, no problem. 2 times 4 is 8. A times AB is A square B. 3 times 2 is 6. B times this is A square B square, right? So here you know that 2 in 8 is 4, a square cancels a square, b cancels 1b, then 2 in 6 is what? 3, we are left with 1b. So you see that you would always stay arrive at the same answer regardless of how you decide to solve yours, right? So I'm going to give you yours to do as always. This is yours to do so you can practice and be sure that we're on the same page. And then we'll move to another topic in the next class. Okay, as always, do not forget, you have to subscribe so that you can get notified. You have to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so that you can get updated, so that you can be notified whenever we upload, okay? I'm using a new device. I misplaced my old one. I'm using a new device, so it's hard trying to get where the camera is. I want to look at you. But yeah, do not forget to subscribe and turn on your post notification bell so you can be notified whenever we upload. Do well to share to those who you want to also learn as you just did. Please give it a thumbs up so the algorithm knows you like things like this and brings more to you, more your way. You can leave this, your answer in the comment section or ask as much questions as you want. Also do well to connect with us on other platforms. Their links would be in the description box. And of course, we have previous videos that leads to this point, right? So if you think you're having some doubts, check previous videos to catch up. Until next class, I love you. And I'll see you in the next class. Bye.